لیزا یاسکو عضو کمیسیون خارجه پارلمان اوکراین اگر ما ایمانمان را از دست بدهیم به قدری در و رنج هست که هرگز پیروز نخواهیم شد با حفظ ایمان نبرد را مستمر نگه داریم Unfortunately, in Ukraine, we have war right now. And uh, me, myself, and many women right now, we are in a position when our men, our brothers, our fathers, our sons are right now in the war. But uh, women are also working very hard. Lots of them are with guns, with real weapons. Lots of us are helping with humanitarian aid. Lots of us in politics, as me, myself, we're working to reach the international audience and to ask for, for real actions. You know, our homes are ruined. Me, myself, I'm from Kiev. It's very European, um, very European city, but now it's not safe there anymore. You cannot even be there without sitting in a shelter. You have bombs, you have explosions, you have shellings. The apartment that I own, it's 20 kilometers away from Kiev. Half of the building is fully ruined. Today, I was trying also to help some elderly people to evacuate, but it was so hard to find a car because just everyone is trying to get their families out, but it's not possible, that evacuation. Today, in the east of Ukraine, there was a humanitarian corridor agreed with, uh, with the Russian side, but imagine what happened. That evacuation didn't happen, and hundreds, thousands of people are just trapped because there were shellings again, and evacuation didn't happen. There is so much pain right now. But I believe that uh, if we lose that faith, we will never ever win. We need to keep that faith and we need to keep this fight on. This is very important. Unfortunately, also in my family, I have lots of tragedy right now because uh, six months ago, my civil husband and my loved one, uh, a former president of Georgia and Ukrainian citizen, Michael Saakashvili was arrested for his fight fight for freedom also in Georgia. And I want to address to everyone who is listening to me right now, please don't give up in your countries, wherever you are. Please, let's make a change all together. For Ukraine right now, yes, this is our pain, but we're fighting also for all of you. Because if we don't defend our freedom right now, we know that the history will be never same again. I saw a heartbreaking moment uh, a few days ago when a bomb uh, reached the Babin Yar Holocaust Memorial in Kiev and it killed five people who went to Holocaust Memorial. And there was a woman somewhere not far sitting in a shelter, an old woman who survived the Holocaust, who, who is around, I think 90 years old. And she said that in her, in her childhood, all her relatives were killed by Nazis uh, in, in Babin Yar. And she could never imagine that in a peaceful cave, she'll be sitting again in, in a shelter and someone will want to kill her. It's a very heartbreaking moment, but let's, let's remember that eyes of children and that faith and love that we, we have right now in Ukraine. I'm very proud of my nation and I want to send all my life my love to all of you so that we all make a change we need peace we need peace in ukraine we need peace in europe we need peace in the world thank you very much <laughs> 